Uh, they're coming from down here. Uh, is it just we're not producing enough iron? We're down, we're desperately low in iron. That's the problem. Okay, our oh, science yeah. is not going to get fixed up until then. Uh, we need to do this new iron project. Yeah. Yeah. This is the deposit brutal. we had to the left is down to 3k. Ugh, okay. Yep, okay. We need to fix up our Oh god, even the iron back home is just abysmal. I'm sure, yeah. It was like really janky even when we started. Just Switching these, like, to really... landfill research. Because there's it's a like little really... bit of iron I can get out of the ground here if I fill up a little little, a little bit of land. Want to squeeze uh -huh. it every bit we can at this point. Uh -huh. Yeah, right here, we can't fit a drill in here, so I'm getting some landfill research. Uh, this one's already dried up. It'll let us stockpile some research beakers, at least. Or some, uh, they aren't, those aren't beakers, those are um, oh, yeah. Elderson flasks or whatever. Oh, yeah, there's a good amount that we could be getting over here with a little landfill. Yeah, there, there's some adjust. little chunks we can get that we could really use right about now. I might be able to adjust the placement of the power poles here and actually get a little more now. I think I can do that. Power pole? What are you, Goku? No, 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 no. All right, I'm gonna go grab some, uh, <laughs> some some conveyor belt because I, I walked all the way back to base and just fucking forgot that's why I was there. <laughs> this game is going downstairs to the fridge and forgetting what you were going to do simulator. Right. Why did I walk into this room? All right. We have landfill research done. It's just a bunch of stone. You can see it in the bottom right of uh, logistics. If you want to go throwing down some drills Oh, I have stone. My god, this is my time to shine. Yeah, do it. I'm also cleaning up the uh, dried up drills at our other, like, off-base iron uh, thing operation. Well, I walk all the way back to base and I had to walk back. It turns out that I have way more iron than we do back at base. So I'm actually just having oh. to make it with the iron in my backpack. I was going to grab the stuff we already made. You know, save some resources. Mm. But nope, I uh, had to make my own. That's fine. How are they doing yeah. on uh, the chest here? Could be better. All right, I'm going to make them some more rails. I never want them to run out. I mean, until they're done. I am filling some land here. There we go. And let's put it right here. There. I put down our second train stop. Train stop. Uh, Kirsten Alf Alfson? Kirsten Alfson is the name of that train stop. All right. All right, so we have our two train stops, so we can automate it once the rail's done. They they know the two places that they're allowed to stop off on this very simple rail we've done. <laughs> All right, there's one more drill placed. Give some electricity. There we go. Okay, the train is now filling up with ore. It's very slow because our electricity, I think, might be having issues. Oh, no, it's okay. We're good, we're good. Train's currently getting filled up with ore, though. Nice, nice. Now we just need to finish the rail so that we can drive the fucking thing.
I might actually have to drive it backwards <laughs> at this point. The train? Yeah, just manually drive it backwards because that's the side of the rail that's closer to finished. <laughs> All right, let me move the provider chest way closer to where they're working. There we go. Oh no, now I'm out of transporter belts, but I have fast transporter belts. Why not? Beautiful, just like the Pokemon. Okay, that's loading up. This is good. This is good. They only need to finish a few more pieces of rail and I can back this thing up. All right, Truth. Uh, mm -hmm. What I need you to do, meet me by the uh, the train stop, the, the one that you're at right now. Meet me there. I'll be there in a second. All right. Just, just, me. just Christian yeah. Adolfson? I think so. Okay. And I'm here. Really graceful. Hey. Came in backwards. <laughs> All, All right, right. So we have a bunch of iron ore here now. Yeah. So this is around where it's going to park when we have it automated. All right. Okay. So if you're wondering why I do like the two lines, by the way, of... Uh, the two lines of ah, inserters. Fucking, inserters, thank you. Uh, it's because we're going to have chests in the middle at some point, so that whenever there's a backlog, it'll just drop in the chest to keep the line going. Mm, okay. All right. Do you have... I don't suppose you have shitloads of transport belts on you. I have three. I will handle the transporter belts. Okay. <laughs> we are about to solve this problem. This is a very maintenance-heavy episode or two, probably. Yeah, you know what? I have a better way of doing this. The absolute mm. madman. Do I have a better way of... Yeah, yeah, I do. And then there's a gap here. So that I can... Uh, do one of these. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay. This is to help clear up what would otherwise be a really bad logistics issue later. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it would be a really ugly issue if I didn't do that now. I see. Now, that doesn't 100% fix it, but it makes it way less of an issue. Right, right. Okay, I gotta... Make more of these. Whoops, I don't need to make that many. Okay. Uh... Oh, here comes the iron. God, we need this iron. <laughs> I'm going to go get myself some transporter belts. I need to just, like, always have those. Uh, I think our production line of them is pretty much halted due to the lack of iron. Ooh. Yeah, it's bad. Where are those guys? Oh, we have a steel chest that's got a few thousand fast transporter belts. Oh, shit. Yeah, get that. Yeah, man. All right, there we go. Uh, the iron line is about to become way more saturated. Alrighty. I didn't realize we had all those fast transport belts being made. And why be regular when you can be fast? Exactly. And let me drive the train back over. That's my response to all those yogurt commercials. That's a yogurt commercial? Well, they always talk about how they'll make you regular. Oh. I just have coffee for that. <laughs> God, I sound like such an old man saying that, too. Keeps me regular. It does, though. <laughs> <laughs> 
God, I'm not even that old yet. <laughs> All right, there we go. I, I had to drive the train back and forth a little because we don't have a totally completed rail yet. But, you know, do what we can. Okay, I need to go clean up this uh, these roboports and stuff. Um, I am going to do a little more land fill in here. There's still some iron we could be getting at the base. Yeah, go for it. Get those little bits you can now, because that just means we can build on that later if we need to, without the, the heartbreak of knowing that we're not efficiently using our resources. Mm-hmm. All right, if I put that down, like, right here. Yeah. And then a passive provider chest, like, there. Uh, and fill it with rails. I'm actually using up, like, all of my stone to do this landfilling. I didn't think such a day would ever come. There we go. Um, now, how much, like, is that enough? God, it's so much better playing this on my bigger monitor now. I have such a massive monitor mm -hmm. now that uh, I can really see a lot. Okay, um, almost the entirety of the rest of the rail is now within their new build range. Oh, that's good to hear. Yep. Now I'm going to need to get more stone and steel plate in a second so that I can make more rail. So I'll go handle that now. Oh, hey, there's a bunch of stone in here. Nice. Okay, I just need to go get some more steel. So driving the train is exactly what you'd probably think it is. Enter to get in and get out. W yeah. to go forwards. S mm. to go back. Try not to crash. Because <laughs> the we haven't upgraded the brakes on the thing at all. Oh, so there's actually some risk of that. Yeah. Okay, so now that our iron line is actually good again, I'm going to get the research going again. I like how there's a stat here that tracks how many kills your train has. Yep, uh, there's an achievement for getting killed by a runaway locomotive. Oh, boy. I can give you that achievement if you want. <laughs> like, you can just put all your stuff in a chest. I'll run you over when you come back. You just get all your stuff back from the chest. I'm tempted. I don't that think I have very... that achievement yet. That is a... T oh, you want to you wanna change that today? There's also an achievement for surviving getting rammed by a train, I believe. <laughs> that requires you have a really well-upgraded armor with a lot of, like laser defense system things and you can you just get? take a full-on hit from a train and live i think it's called golem for surviving like a, a 10k damage hit oh geez i was about to say what if you just get like really gently hit by a train no it's uh it it's a damage threshold oh All right, we need to start really upgrading our furnaces. Uh. All right, I'm going to take care of that real quick because I'm already Boy. in the area. Because our, our iron furnaces that we are using for the... Uh, 16 I need uh, the iron furnaces that are going into some of these things are really fucking old yeah. it's like the original furnace oh yeah yeah well they're stone furnaces right yeah instead of the steel ones and stone ones cook oh. a lot slower so I'm upgrading those right now ooh wouldn't mind replacing some of these with fast uh, conveyor belts Why I'm isn't this her. one... What is this one doing? Why does it have one piece of stone in it? What the fuck? There we Boy. go. There's one thing that wasn't... Uh, two things! There were two things that weren't cooking the iron line because they had a random piece of stone in them. That was weird. I just fixed that. Huh. 
Oh, I hope I didn't do that. Wonder how long that was an issue. Huh. <laughs> That is a weird issue, yeah. Yeah, you know what it was? It was probably we were walking around and inventory was full. And so we tried mm. to pick something up. It dropped on the ground. It landed on a conveyor belt and worked its way down and jammed something up at some point. <laughs> that happens sometimes. Oh, God. It's a fucking dumb problem that is unfortunately common. There we go. I just upgraded that whole line to steel furnaces. That's much faster. Okay, so one of one of the train cars is filled up now. One of the like inserters apparently tried to drop a piece of iron ore on top of the train when it was full and now it's just like stuck there. It tried to drop what? It looks like it tried to drop a piece of iron ore on a full train car. Oh, oh, okay. And so now it's just like stuck there. Yeah, I've seen weird things like that happen. You can just hit F and pick it up. All right, uh, iron's looking nasty back home again. Let's take care of the train. Are you it's at the train right four. now? Yeah, yeah uh, just drive four. it back and let it drop off because our iron line is desaturated again. All right. Yeah. All aboard. And you can use W to slow it down when you're coming on your way back. Yeah. Just try and figure out the speed. Don't worry hey. too bad about a bad crash right now. It's not that big a deal. Like the, the actual train carts are very simple to make. Oh, okay. Nice, nice, I did it. Nice. Perfect parking job. All right, I just put down the chests in the other parts so those can stockpile as well. We're getting like a load of nearly 4,000 iron ore off of Good. this Good. We're going to be replacing all those inserters with fast ones at some point. Maybe even stack ones to really get it going. I think I might even need to uh, make these conveyor belts fast, you know? Uh, yeah, I recommend you walk through and start speeding up those conveyor belts because I only had a regular on me. All right, I just gave the guys some more rails so they're back to work because they were basically empty. All right, and if I put it down right here. Hmm. Why is it sometimes the uh, conveyor belts won't turn when I'm rotating them? You know, like they won't curve. Uh, I believe when you're ghosting, they never look like they're curving, but when you actually do it, they will. Well, I'm... Uh, let me try. Oh, yeah. Okay, that worked. Yeah. And remember, you can hit R when hovering over even one that's already built, and it'll turn it. Uh-oh. Yeah, so you can just hit R like that, and there we go. Yeah, if you're building them in reverse, it doesn't like that, but you just hit R on it a few uh -huh. times to fix it. This is easy fix. All right. I'll build it forwards, then. All right. Um... Yeah, actually, our only problem now uh, is you can see it's, it's getting all clogged up here because it's going onto a regular speed track and it's not fast enough to handle it. I had one fast uh, conveyor belt, so I put that right at the where they combine. That helped it a bit. Uh, but hey, oversaturated track is way better than nothing's on the track. Yeah. All right, this is looking pretty good, actually. I'm pretty happy with this. Speeding it up. All right. Uh, our iron production issue is almost solved then. Once we have the train automated, it's solved. All we need is to have a little line of coal going off to the side to always fuel up the cart. But I'm sure you can tell immediately why that's not concerning me. Uh, right. We built this next to a coal mine. That was mm -hmm. coincidental. I wasn't even thinking about that when I did it. <laughs> oh. Calculated. Well, I uh, need to make a couple more belts real quick. A few more. There we go. There we go. The train is now getting fueled automatically whenever it's at the main stop. Sweet. 
So we don't need to worry about that. That's good. And it it's burning fuel so slowly anyway. All right, uh, so that's good, that's good. They're building up there. How's their stock of rails? It's looking good. I'm gonna dump another 40 in there and that should be enough to finish the entire track. They've almost finished the track, in fact. All right, they're done the whole southern part. Let me move this up so they can build it up here faster. All right, I've got our whole iron line going into the base on fast conveyor belts now. Beautiful. Um, what I recommend turning into fast ones now is if you go over to where we're cooking all the steel, or sorry, cooking the iron on the right, um, some of those are getting really clogged up now. They could probably use some fast conveyor belts to get to their destination faster to keep that crafting going constantly. Okay. Right now, uh, now that our resources are handled, it's back to logistics being the issue of we're not getting stuff where it needs to be fast enough. Whether it be uh, in t in the thing to craft it, or out of the thing it's crafted from, or to its destination, right now logistics is getting to be an issue again. Yeah. Uh, which the robots are going to help with at some point. In fact, they've really helped us with this rail. Hmm. We could, again, we could have manually built this rail. And it would have been done a bit faster, yeah. but this was a good way of kind of teaching how these robots work. Yeah. And they were just a joy to see. Yeah, they're really fun. I love this. Um, as things are right now, I, I don't think the speed of the conveyor belts over in the iron production is really an issue. Because uh, it seems like, well, they're pretty well backed up. All right, like well, already. as long as they're backed up and it isn't later on, like, if later on it's backed up and you look at the machine it's arriving at and, like, it's not crafting at full speed, then we can kind of troubleshoot that issue. Like, maybe um, mm -hmm. a common issue, for instance, is, uh, you know how a copper plate makes a shitload of copper wire? Often there's an issue with copper wire, like, things making it, where the thing slowing down the production of it isn't that it's not getting enough copper or that it's not getting it fast enough. It's that it's not getting rid of the product it makes fast enough. Because it makes so much wire, it can't dump it all off in time to take in the next stuff. Yeah. And that's where you need to start putting down, like, multiple fast inserters or a stack inserter to try and solve that. Make sure that it's dropping it off on a not oversaturated line so that it's mm. dropping stuff off fast enough and getting it out of the way to drop off more. You know, stuff like that. That's one solution to a common problem. We do have one belt here that's not backing up, it looks like. So I will upgrade that one. Sweet. To a fast belt. We probably have a lot of batteries now since we've been stockpiling them this whole time. Uh, last I checked, it was like four or five hundred. Nice. What's this? Oh, is this the old iron mine? The old iron mine is officially at uh, 669 ore. Oh, wow. It's, it's almost done. I just picked up another two drills from it. There's only two drills left. Oh, sad. Yeah. Seems like we just built that guy. It pretty much just did. I think it was just an emergency. Oh, God, our iron's really bad. We need to solve this decision. Yeah. All right, I'm starting to uh, repossess some of the old, uh, some of the old electric cables in towers we were using for that area that we don't need anymore. See oh, if we yeah. can repurpose them. Got some of the we conveyor belts back. We are currently at 666 batteries. Nice. We have a lot of metal stuff going on this session. All right, I think I'm going to make a fast splitter here to fix this up in the meantime. Because we're getting 666 so batteries for locomotive malediction. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I believe we can rename some of these things. Like, I think the train cars we can rename. I'm not sure. I know we can recolor oh. trains and train stops to help organize them. Mm -hmm. Red is just the default. Yeah. 
But I love locomotive malediction. All right, let me go get some more iron coming in. We can almost automate this. And I can teach you how to automate train cars. It's pretty uh, so easy. So they drive themselves? Yeah, so that it'll understand when to keep going and whatnot. Mm. Worker robot speed finished. Perfect. That'll help Let's get see. that last little bit done. Look at him go. Uh, what was the other thing I wanted to... Uh, we could start a nuclear power now, although it would take a long time. It's a, it's a thousand of each one of our research packs. Oh, God. Yeah, it's going to take a while. I think ener electric energy distribution might be our next priority. Hmm. Um, is it, though? Because if we did this, high-tech science pack... Okay, hold on. Let me... Uh... Robotics? I really want logistic systems. That would require purple and gold science packs, and we need to research both of those. So I think we just want to get advanced material processing then. That'll get us purple, as well as electric hmm. um, furnaces. Okay. All right. Uh, do you still have tons of those fast uh, conveyor belts? Yes. Okay, we have another use for them. Uh, right. down at the new iron mine, we, mm -hmm. we need to speed up those conveyor belts. Gotcha. Actually, we I'm should, we guy. should get more drills down there too. I have two of those. Beautiful. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go, uh, take the train up here and just make sure that this is done and then clean up all the, uh, remnants of it. Yeah. It looks like they might've just finished. Yeah, had a little bit of rail to spare. All right, picked up that right. RoboPort, and it looks like the full loop is built. Now, this is an incredibly basic rail. People yeah. online have, like, crazy complex ones, with, like, multiple things coming in and out and train stops so they don't collide and stuff. Oh. This is a very simple one. Honestly, we easily could have just made a longer conveyor belt to deal with this, yeah. and that would have been way faster. But I feel like, you know, this is a tutorial series, first and foremost. Right. So I feel like this was pretty necessary, just to show people the real basics of trains. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to set up the automation then. Okay, at a station, right, uh, I'm going to rename these stations. Uh, base. Are you going to give them really metal names? No, I'm giving them really uh, basic names so that we actually remember where each one is. Manuel will be Iron Mine. There we go. Okay. Hmm. Add station. Uh, base. Uh, I've And it will... Right, add wait condition until inv inventory is empty or time is passed. I'll pick 30 seconds. So whatever one happens first. Mm -hmm. uh, then it will go to the iron mine until inventory is full or 30 seconds is passed. Hmm. So that is what it will do. So if you, if you left click on the locomotive here... Yeah. You'll see on the schedule, first it's at the base, and it waits until mm -hmm. either it's empty or 30 seconds have passed. Then it goes yeah. to the iron mine until it's either full or 30 seconds passed, and I will switch okay. it to automatic. There we go. Cool. So it is now going to go along that, and we can sit in it and ride along with it if we want to. I can't get in. Vehicle is full. <laughs> really? The train can fit one guy? All right. Uh, yeah, so just, you know, be careful of the track, because it won't know if you're on it. All right. Uh, so every is 30 there, seconds, it'll go. Is there an upgrade where it can detect people on the track? Nope. Oh, okay. That's fine. Yeah, just try not to die. Mm. Oh, there we go. It's very accurate, too. You never need to worry about it stopping uh, too late. Mm -hmm. There we go. We officially have our iron automated from this new mine um obviously yeah, yeah, yeah. we can make it way more efficient you know more mines and stuff mm -hmm. but uh hey we got it working yep okay next priority let's get 
military science packs going just so that we know we're ready in case of an attack because we haven't had an attack in a really long time. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to get working on purple science packs then gold science, pack, science packs. So the next while of our base is hardcore making the science packs, like getting all the science packs, basically. We are going to make the last three science packs now.